have Nugi Tai and our beautiful model Adriana. Nugi is going to be prepping the hair for a beautiful red carpet finish. He's starting off by taking a horseshoe section through the top. You can see how carefully he's sectioned that off and using a clip just to hold it in place. Now he's going to take a section from that horseshoe section down to just behind the ear. We're going to be using our Hydro Mist Blowout Spray. And I really love how Nugi's using it in this particular technique. He's applying it straight onto that root area. So remember, this gives our hair a flawless blow dry. So applying it at the root, and then he's gonna take our Neuro Dry and a comb. He's taking the sections again and blow drying and directing the hair back towards the center. So really blow drying that in to get that nice directional blow dry. Now holding the hair in place before applying Aopui Wild Ginger Finishing Spray, smoothing that through, and then clipping it into place. Going to our top section now, we're gonna start working with our neuro cell. So clipping that out the way, and then he's gonna be over directing the first hair forward. We're going to be applying a little bit of our Our Pui Wild Ginger Finishing Spray. And then we're going in with our one inch Neuro Cell. This is our intelligent smart sense micro heater that ensures a precise and regulated heat. So we're really going to get that long lasting frizz free finish. I love how Nugi's placing the clips here. He's putting them on the side so that it holds the hair and really keeps that in place. A little bit of our Pui Wild Ginger Finishing Spray combing that hair up so it's nice and smooth. And then this last roller, the last one inch roll that's going in, just over directing that slightly back onto the crown. Carefully wrapping that down, making sure that it's nice and polished and holding it in place. Next section, we're gonna work on one side of that horseshoe section. We're gonna again go in with our one inch neuro cell. You can see that he's just very carefully wrapping that around and pinning everything into place. So you can see that he's placed the rollers horizontally and now he's working towards the nape. Everything is carefully directional blow dried and then directionally set. And that's really important when you are setting the hair that you think about the end result. Which direction do you want it to lay and having that beautiful polished result. So you can see he started out with the prep of the blow dry and then following through with his setting pattern. That last one in there. And then moving to the back, again horizontal sections and finish off this last nape area. So this is the hair that was blow dried back away from the face and these are the ends. He's utilizing the large two inch neuro cell and just putting those on the ends of the hair. So you'll have this beautiful soft finish around the face. And again, just carefully clipping that in place, clips on the end. And last one wrapping around. So you can see that he keeps the roller pretty close to the scalp and then wraps the ends of the hair, following it up and then tightens it right up at the root, takes the clip and just secures that in place. Allow to cool and apply a little bit of Aopui Wild Ginger Finishing Spray, our touchable halt hair spray. Once the set's cooled, you're gonna to start to take out that set. And you can see the beautiful curl result we have from that neuro curl. Beautiful, sexy, loopy curls. So take out all of the rollers and just allow them to cool in their sections before you start to brush through with your 413. So we love our 413 for our dressing brush. It just really loosens up the curls. That bristle really helps to separate and brush through and give us that nice polish. Then go in and detail with our TZ comb. So a TZ comb has got that beautiful multi-level of bristles. So you can really get that polish and finish. A little detailing there with the comb before we pin into place. 
I love this technique he's using where you weave the bobby pin into the hair so that way you make it really secure and it keeps it in place. Section by section he's just working through the hair, he's switched to a comb. So the comb have tighter teeth and that's gonna give you a little bit more structure and volume. Anytime you have something a little tighter, you're gonna get more structure there. Going back through the ends with a 413, and then polishing with the Teasy brush. So you can see the three tools really in there to give us that beautiful structure to this finish result. Going in with our finishing spray, and here we have our finished result. Beautiful shine and polish from our Awapui Well Ginger.